In lesson two, we looked at getting the list of countries from a text file and a CSV file. But the problem with that method is that the actual list can change over time. Countries split up or they merge or they change their names. And so in order to get a more updated list of countries, we're going to write a web scraper that checks a Wikipedia page for the member states of the United Nations. So that we'll have a fairly up-to-date list every time we run our scraper. While we're at it, uh, we might also want to get some accurate country data. So in the latter part of the class, we're going to also get the population and area for different countries. And so we're going to be using this page. It looks like this. And here is the table for the UN member states that we're going to scrape. But there's a problem because websites change over time. And this tutorial is going to become out of date pretty fast. So in order to handle that, I've created a Wikipedia clone website that's hosted on the platform Python Anywhere. So I built a really simple Flask web application and I've copied some of the pages from Wikipedia into that application so that it will be a static page and the tutorial solutions will always work as long as the site is up. And we can see that here. So go to ariandd.pythonanywhere.com. This index page might change, but there should at least be a link to member states of the United Nations. And here is my version of it, um, as well as links to some of the countries. So the first three countries at least are going to be on there so that we can then scrape the table on the right side here. And then if you go to a country page that doesn't exist in my clone, you'll get this page. And it'll return a 404 error. So this is a site that we will actually be scraping on when I go through the lesson. And before we start, I also wanted to briefly talk about ethics and web scraping. So there are a few issues with web scraping. First, you should be letting the website know who you are and how to contact you. So that's why we have the user agent being passed in the headers. It's also best to limit the rate at which you make requests. So a good rule of thumb is to only make requests as fast as a human would be able to click on links. So roughly one per second. And also, please use public APIs instead of scraping when you can. I went over how to use APIs in the previous lesson. So this is all because if you're making too many requests to a website, you could be violating their terms of service. You uh, risk uh, putting undue load on their servers and preventing other users from being able to have their requests fulfilled in a timely manner. So there's something called denial of service attacks, and you don't want to accidentally be doing something like that. So if you want to read more, there's a good link here by James Densmore about the various things you should consider. And then you should also read the terms of use. So here's a link to the wikimedia.org foundation terms of use. In it, it says to refrain from certain activities like engaging in automated uses of the site that are abusive or disruptive and have not been approved by the community. So we do want to follow the guidelines of not making too many requests in too quick succession and also letting them know how to contact us if there are issues with how we're using their service. And with that, let's start actually setting up our project and working on our scraper.